Everyone, hello and welcome. My name's Anthony Beardsall. I'm a trader and I'm a trading teacher. I work for my own company, Excellence Assured. You'll find us on the internet if you want to look me up. So I'm going to talk you through some live trades today. And I'm going to talk you through some trades that I'm going to take on the US Open the Dow Jones Open. I'm going to take some trades and I'm really hopeful that this is going to be a, you know, an embryo for you for your own trading so that you can take it forward. Now, bear in mind that these are just the trades that I take and there is no one way of doing this. There are lots of ways of doing it. There are lots of ways of winning in trading. And there are more ways, unfortunately, of losing. Now, you need a good education in trading, which is what I hope I, I offer. And people tell me that I do. And, you know, I live for helping people and helping people be successful that's that's you know that's what gets me out of bed in the morning and that's why i'm doing this video so i'm going to record some of my trades today and certainly on the open you're going to see the uh, us markets open maybe explode <laughs> they are highly volatile and trading does come with risks so I'm going to be managing my risk and I'm going to be managing my reward and I'm going to be managing my probability. And that's, they're the three things that I, you know, that I manage during every trade. And so I'll be entering and exit, exiting trades when I think there's a high probability of success and when I can manage my risk and manage my reward. So, you know, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I look for context, content and confluence with each one of my trades. And that's what you need to, you know, that's what you need to drum into your head is, you know, these are the three things I'm looking for. There's a lot to look at in trading and you need to get into a routine so that, and, and and know and almost set up templates in your head as to what you're looking for. I the the I trade normally on the open of a candlestick or when a candlestick turns red or it turns green. Um, so when a, a green start to a candlestick reverts to red, and I've got good context and I've got good confluence, then I might take a trade. And the same the other way around. And you'll see that in these trades coming up. And I'll enter and I'll exit quickly. I don't expect my trades to last for long. I don't like leaving my capital in the markets. <laughs> I like to take the money and I make regular trades when the opportunity is there. And the trading system that I use and that I teach um tends to bring up lots of opportunities so you can have really really good days with you know with uh i can have days where i i don't have any losing trades and just winning trades and make you know 15 20 trades during that time so i'm a lucky lad and <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that you enjoy the trading coming up right now. So let's go to the charts. Right, guys, this is the Dow Jones index called Wall Street with my broker. And we are five minutes away from opening. And this open is going to be, I expect, quite volatile which is why I'm recording it and I'm expecting it to be volatile because yesterday the markets were closed. They were closed for Independence Day in the States and so normally after the market's been closed for a bank holiday uh, you get more orders and therefore more volatility. And we've got here the five minute time frame and the one minute time frame so five minutes on the left one minute on the right 
and you can see with the five minute time frame here that the market's been in a downtrend it's been making lower lows and it's been making lower highs until here when it made a higher high so as usual with trading nothing's completely simple and the market has started going up slightly just before the open after a big downtrend now the open is very volatile and so basically you know i'll be looking for either long or short going long or short up or down depending on what i see in the coming candlesticks and just to give you a little bit of an insight here look these figures here are five there's five points in between each of these figures here it won't stay like that for long because when it opens the volatility will increase substantially and the market will shoot off this screen either from to the top or to the bottom okay so on the five minute time frame the figures have 20 points in between them and a 20 point win is you know i think what i'd be looking for to start the session off with a 20 point win and i'll be looking to limit my losses so probably looking to limit it to a 10 point loss maximum okay so 20 point win 10 point loss um and i don't expect to lose but it does happen <laughs> yeah don't expect it sounds arrogant but it's it's not really it's just based on the fact that i know what i'm doing and i have a plan and i know how to stick to the plan and if you have a plan and you know how to stick to it with trading and it's a profitable plan then you can be confident and being confident is good when you stick to your system being confident and just taking random trades is where problems lie so obviously we stick to our system so we can see the market continuing to rise here and at the moment there's a 40 roughly 40 point gap between where the market is now and where it finished um yesterday when it was closed but <laughs> and that might sound strange but it's a 24 hour market um and what that means is that it's you know it's a futures market and um there are, there is trading even outside of hours so well it needs bearing in mind because when there's a close proximity between current prices and where they closed the market has a tendency to fill whatever gap that there is okay and at the moment it's trying to fill the gap but it's got this high here to contend with will it go down or will it go up now i'm going to be looking for in about 15 seconds time i'm going to be looking for you know what does the market do in terms of these blue and red lines i've got on which are the emas and here we go there's the open so going up and just pushing down and i'm going to go long and too late <laughs> i was too late and i missed it because i was talking to you oh no there we go there's your 40 points well, there's 30 of them anyway okay well we'll have to take the scraps then it was a perfect entry perfect entry as the market came down and then rejected off these emas came back down briefly and reacted to the to hitting the emas and so you can see how quick you needed to be i didn't have time to talk through it and react at the same time anyway we shall see what happens at the moment there's a massive tail on here and so we shall see i might go long again now
there. Okay, I've gone long. And there we go. So that's a good time to end the trade, I think. So that's the first trade. Big tail, didn't really like that. Market wants to go down by the looks of it. But at the moment, it's still trying to go up. Or should I say the traders want to, it to go down and the market's going up. Here we go. Right, now it's going down. Okay, so uh, it's below the EMAs now and we have to wait for a pullback. There. Big tail. We'll have to wait for a pullback. We'll wait for it to go back up here and then it should start rejecting back down. At the moment, it only wants to go down. So we have to wait. We have to wait for it to clamber its way back up. And I'll be looking at how quickly it goes back up. Because it goes up as quickly as it goes down, then we need to be careful. But at the moment, it's just going down. You know, why didn't I take? Why couldn't I take a trade here? Well, the reason I can't take a trade down here is because it's a long way from this area here, which is between the EMAs, which I call value, and that's when I'd expect people who've gone short in here, they'll take profits round about now, and they'll wait for it to go price to go back up and then they'll trade again and they'll trade short and you know why did it go down well it went down because it's the market's in a downtrend and this was you know the market out of character really from where it's been going over the last period of time so the market left you know I got a good trade in here and then got out for my profit quickly before the market started coming back down. So we're just going to wait now. Still going down. Can't go in now because, you know, I'd have to put my protective stop up here and that's 40 points and I don't want to take that level of risk. So I have to wait for the market to respond to what it's doing at the moment, which is forcing its way down big style. Come back to you in a sec. This is one of the most frustrating things about trading, isn't it? I haven't taken any trades since up here. Um, and the market's just gone down and you'd have thought well it's just continued to go down it's going to carry on going down um, and the thing is that uh, yeah it has but each of these times here on a new candlestick bar they're 50 50 whether it goes back up or whether it goes down any further and the further down it gets <laughs> the the uh, the odds get worse. Uh, I, I don't trade on 50-50 chances. I trade when the odds are in my favour. You can see these small pullback bars here with spikes on the top or tails on the top here, 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 here. They were, you know, as soon as the market saw a little bit of green in these candlesticks, it powered its way down. That's a good reversal candlestick there. But I didn't take it because, I didn't take the trade because too much risk, you know. Um, if you get it wrong, it's painful. Um, it's painful because, yes, there was a good reward after that bar there. That was probably the only one I might have taken. Um, but the risk, where's the risk? You know, the risk is up here somewhere. And so you, you know, you would have been profitable on that occasion. But what about here now? What about here? You know, is it going to continue to go down? We've got a bar here, followed by what is currently an inside bar following it. And quite a lot of traders trade inside bars. They, they trade in the direction of the trend after inside bars. 
and it isn't an inside bar anymore. You can see that was an inside bar, that was inside the previous bar, and it got good follow through. This red bar here closed on its low, that's also a good sign for trend continuation. This one was a, a little pin bar and it closed on its low as well, so good time to seek out consolidation. But where we are now, you know, you can see the green coming on the candlestick. Are the bulls going to start taking over or are the bears going to react? Well, they've let a green candlestick come in and now there's a reaction. So let's just have a look and see whether or not... Yeah, we're getting red. Okay. So that was an opportunity there. When that turned from green to red, that was an opportunity. But for me, too much of a gap between where price is and the value area, which is going to take effect in a bit. And look at this chart here. The price is right down here and value is up here. So it's currently, the market is currently in breakout mode. It's breaking out and it's going down. The market is nearly down 200 points already. And so, you know, it's making its morning move into negative territory. What about the news, you might think? Well... There's no bad news as far as I can tell. Um, there's no news at all. So the market is just doing what it always does. And the only way to trade it is by using technical analysis, which is what I am doing now. Now we're getting a reaction and the price is moving back up to the EMA. We'll have to see how it does that. Okay that I'm in quite a good trade at the moment the market's going down and I went short I went short here which was just after the market rejected 34,700 and you can see here the market went down below tried to go up above and then went red below the 20 EMA and I went short so I'm short and we're going to see whether we're getting going to get a new low or not. Uh, we may not, may come back to nothing, in which case this is going to go back to a loss. But I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to wait and see. At the moment it looks like it's going back to nothing, but we shall wait and see. This is the 8 EMA here, and it went up to it, the price, and just rejected down on that close of that candlestick and it's going to try and make a new low and we're going to wait and see whether it does that was not a rejection no big spike on the bottom it was just a pullback and another entry for my traders so we shall see what happens next A little bit of rejection on this candlestick here. Just needs to break these lows. Just needs to break these lows here. They're not at a significant level. Staying in this trade for a little bit longer than I normally would because normally I'd have been out down here and I'd have been in again here short. But we're just hanging on a little bit, see what we can get. And now we've 
broken those lows so we'll see what happens and I'm going to take profits in a second because there's too much resistance down there and I don't trust it so we're going to come out now I think it'll probably um, I think he'll probably make a new low, in which case that'll have cost me some money. But I'd rather have the money in the bank than be sitting here thinking there's a 50-50 chance. And so that's why I normally would take a trade, get out here, go in again, get out here and carry on like that. Might call that scalping, might call it, you know swing trading with a difference <laughs> whatever it is it works for me and there we go so it was the right decision for me and market is rejecting this level here for some reason who knows why there's no significant level it's a 50 level but that's about it the previous closes on the last low were down here and so we'll see but the market is dilly dallying around and I'd rather have the money in the bank whilst it's doing that wait for a new candle to open and see what happens I may go in again Yeah, I'm going to go in again, there. It's going to have a try at, another, at a new low. It's going to have a try. And we'll see what sort of power it can build up. Okay, this is the... Uh, this is the time to start thinking about whether to go down market, please. <laughs> Doesn't listen to my instructions. And this is the risk time because it's at a previous low. And uh, we don't really want it to go up much further at this stage. Previous low being here and it's reacting to this level for some reason strangely enough as though it may seem strangely enough this bar here was a bare reversal bar and therefore you know that would be a, a valid entry short again there We'll see what happens with the market, whether it uh, takes the lead and goes down a bit. Not showing a great deal of downward momentum at the moment, not a vast amount. But we'll see whether it pops out of the bottom here. Or whether it rejects up. So this is the time now to see whether or not we're going to get a new low. Where it looks like that's a bit of momentum and I don't like the way it's climbing back up so I'm out for a profit on that trade as well. No point in just carrying on, hanging on and on and on. I, you know, I was in profit, I took my profits and I'm out. Whether it makes a new low or not, for me, that was the right decision. Around about here in the last clip and the market has been trailing downwards. And it's been, every time it's visited this value zone it's gone down you know it was such a good start such a good open 
and this is tends to be what happens after you know days off it tends to get momentum in one direction or the other and it did it got downward momentum it kept visiting the EMAs you can see it leveled off went down leveled off went down came back up went down back up went down leveled off a little bit there leveled off a bit there and each time it's gone down now it doesn't do this every day but there were some good signals that this was going to happen and you can imagine by the way I trade you know looking for opportunities at the EMA zone here making sure that the wider time frame has confluence on that and of course it's in a big down, down trend so any time frame you want to look at you know if I go up to the uh, 30 minute time frame here it'll be in a downtrend you can see and um, not tradable now on that particular time frame but if you look at the one minute time frame it's near the zone again so I'm going to leave you to it because I'm enjoying myself <laughs> do let me know if I can help you hope you got a lot out of that video cheers for now bye